of y'all. Virginia Piper here. I'd like to congratulate Don Gio Gecko on surpassing 100 subscribers. Way to go. And well deserved. Now, he recently had a giveaway to mark the occasion, asking viewers to tell an animal encounter story. Now, although this comes after the giveaway, I thought this would be a great story to share. Well, I grew up in New Jersey, in the country. And that's not a contradiction in terms. There's a lot more to the state than Newark and Camden. There's the shore, the mountains, and farms. And it's called a garden state for a reason. Well, I grew up on two and a half acres of land with a pond. So I had numerous animal encounters. Heck, this could be turned into a series. In fact, I just might do that. My uncle was a practical joker. He once showed up at our house with two geese. A farmer wanted to get rid of them, but my uncle didn't tell us why. We soon found out why. They were not very friendly. So while sitting outside, I watched my cat try to hunt them. He took a step toward them. They didn't move. He took another step toward them. And the geese took a step toward him. He took off. There was no way he was going to mess with them. Interesting, I thought. Then came the stories, such as the town inspector who came to check out the pond heard a hissing sound and mistook the neck of one of the geese for a snake. Apparently, he could only see the neck. Let's hope so, anyway. Someone told me how the geese flew after a boy who was riding his bike. The poor kid kept looking back and pedaling faster. Then there was the time one of the kids I hung out with came up to me and said, Your geese tried to attack me. What did you do? I asked, clearly relishing the fact that this kid who felt he was intellectually superior to everyone was likely caught doing something stupid. He told me what happened. I ran down to the pond, flapping my arms up and down, and they came after me. They're killers. You idiot, I said. See, it turns out they ran off before they could do anything. It turns out that he ran off before they could do anything to him. Well, one day, I thought I'd give it a try just to see what would happen. So I ran down to the pond, flapping my arms up and down, and sure enough, they swam out of the water and ran towards me with their heads low to the ground and hissing like crazy. I decided I wasn't going to move. They came up to me, took a couple of pecks at my sneakers. And when they realized that I wasn't going to be intimidated, they turned around and ran back into the pond. They were all attitude, but completely harmless. When my uncle and cousin came by for another visit, I told them to try the same thing with the geese. Why? he asked suspiciously. Just try it, I said. Well, he knew something was up. Like I said earlier, he was a practical joker. 
So, he had my cousin drive their car down the road as close to the pond as possible. He then ran down to the water, flapping his arms up and down. And on cue, the geese ran after him. He ran into the car, and they drove away. And that is my best animal encounter story. I'll probably have a few others for you, but I don't think any are going to compare to that one. Have a good one.